streaking in was Logan Wendling, but couldn't find it on his stick. Then it goes wide, back thrown to the middle by Black. This time it's Nilsson. That one's saved down by Lindgren. Puck is loose in the crease. Oh, Swingle almost had a chance. He went back behind the net and comes back out to Nilsson, who has a go from the top of the slot. Caroms wide. Killer B still threatening for the ice trade, coming away from that dangerous attempt. Back to the blue line, Evan Bell hops over his stick. Here comes Tanner Lomsa, shorthanded. Left side circle, his shot. Blackered away by Johansson. Good streak in shorthanded for Lomsus. Left wing side, slice from the blue line, blocked down by Johansson. Rebound comes down here. Liliev! Oh, he had a chance at net, just missed over top. Breyer loses his stick on the way, and the Killer Bees try to clear. Coming, Blocker to down as Giochvili spins around, finds Kuzin near side. Into the middle, Giochvili bats at it, saved by Johansson. He knocks it back down, picked back up, thrown in front again. And here's Jastro out to the near side. Here comes Maxim Giochvili, two on one to the offensive end. He holds left side on the backhand, flip toward the net, saved by Johansson, thrown back in by Matt Colfer, cut out by Rio Grande Valley. Finds two different Killer Beast players, including Wood. Now Carl steps in with Connor Wood. The two tie up. Connor Wood is holding Taylor Carl in the corner. No arms are going up as Matt Olsen outlets. And now Taylor Carl dropping the gloves with Connor Wood. Taylor Carl, the big size mismatch. He just throwing haymakers on top of Connor Wood in the near side corner. Wood is trying to go after Carl, wrap him down, they go to the ice. Started off by Connor Wood, interfering with Taylor Carl, had no choice, and ding, 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 both will go off for fives and tens. First fight of the season for Taylor Carl. Didn't want it. Gets fist bumps from his team, cheers from the crowd. And so it'll be fives and tens for both sides at 8.33 left of the second period. It was obvious that Connor Wood just wanted to do something to scrum things up for Rio Grande Valley and force Taylor Carl into the corner. Came out swinging and a good effort for the defenseman that usually doesn't get into those kinds of scrums. Time of these penalties come at 11.27 of the second period. And so, we go back five on five to the ice train's defensive end. Behind the net, Colford slings to a high slot to Jeshro. In front, out of position is Johansson. Wide open, goal mouth is stopped dead in front. Where's the puck? It scores free. And a Breyer gets it back to Jeshro. Oh boy, a big chance for the ice rays. And the defense of Rio Grande Valley stopped them at the doorstep. This is one pops out to the x ray defensive end. Hand sliding in is so malicious and a great defensive stop by Anthony Cortez, giving up the body to give the x ray a chance to come back offensively. Feeds near side wing to Black. Gets into the offensive end at the left point. Shot from outside the circle. Saved down by Lindgren. That one just went wide left. Is that skitter by the netminder? Now moves behind the net. Still stays at Somalitis. Back to the far side of the blue line. To Clark near side point. Wrist shot on that. Saved by Lundgren. Puck is down and covered up by the net miner. And bodies converging on top of Lindgren. Flip back and it goes back all the way into the Rio Grande Valley end. And that will do it here for regulation at the American Bank Center. No one has scored through 60 minutes. That's a first for the ice race this season. We will settle this one in overtime. Matt Colford hands up Van Tyle as the puck comes free. Back behind the Killer Beast net. Thrown in front by Colford, goes back to the blue line to the far side point to Cortez. He holds, winds, fires, greens right off the post. He had a chance to win it and that just caught iron. And the red line is broken up by Joe Chitwood and that will do it here for overtime. We are scoreless through 65 minutes and we will go to a shootout. So the Pierre Fons Quebec native will take the first attempt for Corpus Christi. Crowd gets on their feet as he takes it at center ice, swings wide out to the left side. Skates into the circle, goes into the slot, slows down, shot, he scores! He pumps up the crowd, beat by Johansson to the right side of the net liner, and the ice race tally on their first attempt. And the booze coming from the crowd as Bennett takes it at center ice. He comes right up the middle with some speed. He takes a wrist shot, beats by Linger from the blocker side. We're tied at one after one round. And now Anthony Croston will come in, team leading point score for Rio Grande Valley. Will take the shot in the second round for the Killer Bees. Takes it, swings down to the right side. Wide out to the right side, cuts back in. Takes a shot, roofs over Lindgren. Beat by the glove side. And two attempts for the Killer Bees and two goals. It's two to one after two rounds. This season, Michon has had four attempts and has come up empty, but he did have a penalty shot winner against Odessa in overtime back in November. Swings out to the right side, comes in. He cut by Johansson and in! Johansson got a poke at it. He wants it waved off, but it popped back off of Michon and in. And we're tied at two. Kusin takes it at center ice. 
Swings out to the left side, comes into the high slot, slows down, holds on, shoots and scores! His second time, a kiss to the stands, and the Ice Rays lead at the three and a half, three to two. Here comes Andrew Lindgren. Can he help the Ice Rays win their third straight shootout as Cam Black will try to extend it for the Killer Bees. Swings out to the right side, slows down in the slot. He stops, takes a shot, sails over the net, and that's a winner for the Ice Rays. Three straight shootout wins, and Corpus Christi splits the weekend. Final score, Ice Rays one, Killer B zero.